All right, guys, what do your boy X is coming at you guys for another video? And in today's video, we're going to talk about bank accounts. And the reason we're going to talk about bank accounts is yes, I recover, I've covered this topic in the past, and things have changed due to you know the T virus affecting us. And things with your bank have changed. Maybe you've noticed, maybe you haven't noticed, but that is what I'm going to talk to you about today. What are the best banks to have your money in? Why? Because, no, the banks hold your money. You, you want to have your money in a good place where your money is actually working for you and not against you. So I'm going to take you guys and show you guys some of the better banks that I think you guys should hold your money in. Why? Why not? And then ones that you just really shouldn't because they're terrible. And I'll give you some recent experiences I've had myself. So without further ado, let's just hop into the video. don't like and why how about you hit that like button for your boy and then subscribe to my channel why because I'm ugly yeah I said it but <laughs> most definitely do that for me and let's just go ahead and get into today's topic now we are talking banks banks have been around forever and pretty much everybody has a bank but is your bank a good bank have you really looked into some of these fees? I don't know. Have you? I have. For instance, the number one bank that I do not care for is Chase. Why? I think I know Chase is a very high profile company. Don't get me wrong, but their bank accounts are other trash. A whole garbage can. A straight up dumpster. And the reason I say that is there are some good things about the bank and there are some bad things about it. Have, even if you choose to bank with this bank, yeah, the good thing is you're building a relationship with said bank. So you can get their relationship going, they can see your finances, and they can help you to get approved for some of those credit cards like the Chase Sapphire and the Freedom Card, which are some actual good credit cards. But when it comes to the bank account, there's a reason I don't like them. One, they charge you every month. like why like come on chase we're not past that by now there's so many banks out here that don't charge you a monthly fee but chase as much money as y'all got y'all still charge people which is utter trash now there are ways to get around said feature but for the average person the average person does not keep x amount in their bank account and that is how you get around said fees. For Chase, I think it's about $1,500 minimum. If you don't keep your account above $1,500, they will charge you a monthly fee. And I think that is trash. Only for the fact there are banks out there that does not do this. Regardless of what your balance is, these banks want you to bank with them. And they don't charge you any monthly fee. But Chase does, and that's why it's trash. Because my whole thing is, if you're a person who has a decent amount of money and you keep $1,500, hey, you may think Chase is the bee's knees. But to an average person who don't have $1,500 and you would think Chase would know this only for a simple fact, you can look up statistics and most Americans don't even have $1,000 in their savings for emergency. So why would Chase set their minimal amount for their bank accounts to be $1,500? Clearly, they're just they're just greedy to no end, and yet is why I say Chase Bank is trash. Now, I don't deal with them. I have done with dealt with with them, but I do not currently deal with them because they're trash. I can't I can't stress this enough. Another bank that I have dealt with that also does this is First South Credit Union. Trash. It's that simple. They have like the same feature. They don't charge, um, I think they charge like $12, but you have to have like, I forget the limit. I think it's like 500 No, I don't think it's 500 I think it's $1,200 that you have to keep minimal in your account. If not, they charge you $12. Trash. The, the, I mean, it's 2020. Their banks are doing the most to really get people. So I don't understand why these banks are not hopping on their bandwagon and doing what's best for your customers. So I thought the customer was almost right, but not in not with these people because they're trash. Simple. Now, 
banks that I approve of, Ally Bank. Ally Bank doesn't charge you anything. Just put your money in there. It's simple. Yes, it's an online bank. Hey, you may not better go to the bank, but be truthful. How many people are actually still going to the bank? I can't even explain you the last time I've been to the bank. Maybe to deposit check, but even then, it's like, bruh. Most people use Cash App, so it's just like you really don't just go to an actual bank. So having an online blank is really not that bad of a con. I don't, I don't see it, so try it out. Another bank is American Express Bank. Capital One has a bank that also doesn't charge you. It's a lot of these banks out here. And most recent bank that I would recommend to anybody, Yada Bank. Only for the simple fact is it's not going to charge you anything. You can put your money in and with Yada Bank, the more money you have in, the more tickets you get. And with these tickets, pretty much it's like a lottery type thing. So you save money. They give you tickets. I think it's one ticket per $20, so I'm not mistaken. And they give you tickets and they do weekly drawings. People are actually winning money weekly, whether it's 25 cents, a dollar, five dollars. It's been some five thousand dollar winners. I mean, the, the total grand prize to jackpot is 10 million. Of the next one after that, it's like a Tesla. But I'm saying people are winning five thousand, thousand dollars, two hundred dollars, no, 25 cents, a dollar. And the thing about this, you have to consider this is a weekly thing that they do. So within one month, even if you got like the lowest possible, possible, possible win, which is like 25 cents over the course of a whole month. If you every week you, you didn't know you only got like two numbers in the jackpot or just two numbers in general, you want like 25 cents. That's a whole dollar. That's a whole free dollar. Like I know that seems like small, but would you rather get a dollar a month or like get charged 12 to $15 a month? Mm, I take that dollar. Now, the thing about that, you may not, of course, you're not going to win all the time. And, of course, the odds of you winning the overall jackpot is significantly outrageous. It's like winning the lottery. But the whole thing is you're still earning somewhat interest on whatever money you put in, whether it's a quarter, whether it's a dollar, whether it's $50, $100, 5000 Who cares? It's more than what these other banks are doing to you. So, really, look into your banks. Check out, do they charge you? Do they have a minimum amount for your bank account? If it does and they're charging you come on man why would you let these banks charge you take control of your actual money you should not be charged for using your own money you should not be charged because you don't have as much money as the next person you should not be charged man you should gain interest these banks should be paying you for letting you for letting them use your money that's how i see it. you're lending them your money now when you go no you take out a loan you pay interest it's that simple you take out a car loan hey you got to pay interest on that money you borrow but with these banks chase you know first house credit union and many others they're pretty much using your money to make money and they're still charging you that that makes no sense wake up people there are better banks out there because i'm gonna say it again chase bank trash but that's my two cents on it. Like most definitely look into you guys bank. There are banks out there. I will leave a lot of banks in the description of better banks that do not charge you guys anything for having your money with them. You will actually make money. It's not going to be tens of hundreds or twenties of thousands of dollars, nothing. It's just going to be interest on what you have in there. And I'd say that little baby interest is a gazillion times better than you paying a month. To use your own money. Nah, we, we we done with it. We taking back our money. We taking back our freedom. This is how it is. They gonna pay us. So links will be in the description. Most definitely subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Spread the word. Let's get these banks that are charging people out of here, bro. We not gonna let them keep charging us. Chase is trash. <laughs> but it's your boy Exia, and I'm out.